still, it's now November, and because it's the start of the month, the cows have actually taken a level of grazing, so I didn't have to get up and feed them early in the morning. But they are now 25 months instead of 24 months, which puts them in a next bracket of food eating amounts. So if I pull up my spreadsheet, you can see on the in the 19 to 24, this was the minimum they would eat in a month. That was maximum. And then I'm on three days per month. So this was the minimum and maximum per day. The brown Swiss is slightly different. I have the, a chart with the different amounts. You know, they start out the same. And then the, the whole students start eating a bit more than the brown Swiss would, would on average. But I no longer have them in this bracket. So I am going to, this one is on average 8,333. That's what it said before I deleted the 20 there. So now they were in another bracket. Their minimum and maximum are much different. I did have this, I have the full six months here, but it just, came out awkward like that was still the minimum but then the maximum was like sixty thousand per month so i wanted it a little more equal so i added or i split it into these but that means i need to feed them two and a half thousand more per month and, well no this is per day so two and a half thousand more per day so the first thing I do is figure out how many hay bales because then I don't have to break the bales apart and try to put them in separately. So they would need at least 2,200 hay, which three, there were 600 liter bales, so three of them would be 18. Four would be 24, so I would still keep the four, the two each feeding be okay but that's getting low and it will just be better if i put more in but i don't want to just put one more in because then i have the awkward i'm putting two in one and three in the other feeding so i think i'll go up to six per day which is still within range it's still quite a bit within range could go higher and still be able to make my my uh quota and then let's see the moisture would be the potatoes and the power would be like the grain grist or the soybeans or canola or mineral feed so i don't want to bring that up to a thousand because then i'm getting close to the max so and i don't want 750 because then it's harder to split so maybe 700, that would be about 350 each, but there's still plenty of wiggle room on either side. And then I'll just keep the half bucket per feeding there, which means I will want the rest of what I'm missing to be silage. So what's that, 27? Yeah, 25, and then, yeah, so 2,800 is probably what I'll go with. There's plenty of wiggle room, so 2,800 per per feeding would should keep this all within a correct range to have enough food for them. So that is what I'm going to do for my, my formula. Walk around around my or to all of my fields and they're mostly doing all right obviously there's some that could use some fertilizer but i will wait till the spring to actually try to boost their grip what i do need though is yeah this will work 
So the pH value is at least good on most of them. Three here though. Mostly silk to play. This one, although it has that yellow, that's actually still within the good range for that type of soil. Three though is bad. So I do want to get some lime down on three. Get to see some of the the town. If I have to go in here, or if there's another entrance. Okay, it looks like this road up here. I didn't think I would have to go through the, the parking lot for those apartments. And then into here. Try to back up to that. I did see that the trigger come up, so I know it works. There we go. Let's try to make it look a little bit better. I guess I'll want to go in the other way just because of how this opens. But it's probably going to take a bit. And I brought the vent because lime is very heavy. So I figured I'd bring my most powerful tractor. So there's 2,500 spent. Let me change my units. There was something else I noticed when I was doing my walkabout. And that's this. I did, I did not get all of what was missed. I don't know if I just, because this part looks like what I went back over, so I thought that would be fine. This part is probably just me not lining up right when I took over for the worker. But there is that. It's not a big deal. Not at all, actually. I should have take, taken that turn. That'll take the turn right near the tunnel. Apparently there's a problem in the tunnel. Some kind of slowdown. Okay, let's get that unfolded. And... Let's do that and change the width and then I can move it to, oh, nope, I'm moving it the wrong way. I thought the center row was what was near me, but that was the left edge. So, oops, I did not mean to hit the settings button. I meant to just make sure that I'm going a little over the edge. And it is on automatic, so I should just be able to get going. And then it can, then this field will be, well, it will be perfect on pH. Like I said, most of them aren't perfect, but the other ones are at least good. I was going to finish that line out, but I was pretty sure I was going to hit the house if I tried to get it all the way to the edge.
We got too greedy on that side too. Okay, where's the... Oh, that's perfect. It's apparently a great width on this field for the lime spreading anyway. Not so perfect on that one. And I actually thought I was going to take more lime than this. I could have probably only put up half, saved a little money there. But it's not like it's going to go to waste. I will need the lime fields. And I'll already have the lime when I do. And go get the mixing wagon. This one now. I'm still on the dairy cow recipe, although I will have to bring straw there too, so I will have to change that afterwards. So I have three hay bales going in here now. Them. Hopefully they're done with the weed whacking outside, but I need my arms. And I need the bucket. So we'll get the silage first, and I needed how much? 2,800? Oh, I forgot I was on the bucket. 2,800 liters of silage. I was definitely expecting that. 
seeing how buckets can be used to level and they can overfill while in the clamp. There's 2,000 liters. I just need 800 more. I think this pile is more than that. Definitely more than that, so let me dump this back in here. Oh, I can't dump that back in there. Oh, and now I've screwed it up. So I will just put this over here. Okay, let me get the 800 I need. 825 will be fine. And then I can clean up the rest of it. But at least I know I won't have to go anywhere else to get that 800. There we go. I've all cleaned up and put this 700. Well, I can actually take my mixer wagon with me. And then leave that right there. And then I want like 350 of this green grist, if there is that left there. tilted the wrong way. There is not 350 of it left, so I guess today will probably be the best day to make grain grist. I could also just go grab some soybeans, but I will want to be making grain grist, and my cows are okay with their grazing until their evening meal. So. So I still wanted a half a bucket of potatoes. There we go. And this is why I don't want anything too close to the minimum or maximum so that I can be okay with not being exact. That would be a pain. 
and as you can see it's not enough mineral feed because I'm more than a hundred short. So let's grab that. And I need at least 50% wheat and at most 50% barley, but at least 10%. And then at most, what's that like? 75% oats, but at least 10%. But if I just pull this here and go get my Massey. I get two bucketfuls of wheat and then one bucketful each of the other two. And that should be a perfect amount to make um what what's that, four thousand liters of green grist? Wheat. Well, it's it doesn't get that high, which it's probably fine, but my my wagon is at a higher point of the road, so I won't be able to do it that easily. Let's see if that's... Yeah, about that. I know I can do it. I definitely did, but let me pull it down here. Is that down far enough? I don't know where I did it in the, in the test. But let me find a spot where that can be down further. I mean, it's probably, if I go down here, then, then my Massey will be at a higher point, I believe. Let's see. really but it, it works not not amazingly I'll have to find a spot to really do that because that is not um not look the greatest let's if I pull the vent down to the road here and then have it right up against this then it will probably work out all right should be able to get there. Okay, let me get another bucket full of wheat and see. I didn't actually look. Oh, it says it's only 6% full. It can definitely put the four bucketfuls of product into it. Okay, let's raise that up and try to not there we go. So now I know where I want to park the daughter to do it. Okay, and then one bucket full of barley.
and then a bucket full of oats. And I could probably do that all, I can definitely do that all again. And I think right now I have about equal product. Yeah, a little more oats, but the, or a little more wheat, but the oats and barley are about equal, so. Go do that again. That's 26% full, so I can definitely pick a another four buckets in, and then some oats. And I think I'll grab one more bucket full of wheat. Wheat is probably the easiest to buy. I haven't really looked at the price difference though between buying wheat versus just buying the grain grist or the mineral feed. But it would give me the most options if I do have to buy some kind of power food. And there we go. That should be enough green grist for a while. Yeah, I don't think that this can move it well next to I don't think it, I think like the mixing wagon, it doesn't really need it. So I have 9,000 liters of green grist going to pipe out. It, does it do it on the other thing? I don't want it really near the mixing wagon. But let's see. Yeah, I should be able to unload some right here. It unloads very slowly, so I actually could have done it over the mixing wagon. But I'm going to get to like, oh well it needs a hundred more there, but this is probably fine. Let's pipe it in. and see if I can get that to just do it into the silo or if I'm going to have to get my trailer out. There we go. So now I need like 120 more liters into the Mixing wagon. I'm 
140 should be fine. There we go, everything with it is within range. So I have that all set up. You can see the grain grist is still going down because it takes a very long time. But I can now go get my New Holland and get the animal transport. So I can move my cows. I won't move them for a little while though, so I guess I'll I'll see you when it's time to move them. I want their this feeding to get them to the morning. So I don't want to move them until around feeding time, which is about six. 